Hey, this is Jay Watts with Uber Bay Z. Back in action. Now, I didn't drive the week before this. So my numbers from that week, you know, I had the, the toothache and everything. Didn't do anything. It was cool. I took about a week off and I decided to get back in driving Lux to see if I can hurry up and play catch up and everything. But there came a point in time when Lux started screwing with me. So I had to turn on UberX. This is kind of how my weekend went. Let me open up Lux first. I'll open that up so we can kind of get started. Um, just showing you what I started my week out as. Let me back this thing up a little bit. Let's go to weekly breakdown. Let's go backwards a week. All right, I made $965.11. I mean, you can see my tip, tips, earnings. These are the days I got tipped. I only drove three days, 4, 20, 21, and 22. I didn't drive any other days. So in those three days, I had to make that 965. And it took me, what, 15 hours to make it. I was online for about 20 hours. So each day I would be online scouting and scouting and scouting. So I drove about 15 hours total. Um, here's all my passenger stuff down here, you know, throw third party fees and all of that, you know, and we can do a weekly breakdown summary so you can see how much I made each day pretty much. Uh, let's open this up. And I said, I want to do it like this because I don't want to keep taking all these screenshots. I'd rather just do it like this, kind of speed up the process. So if you want to go back and look at something, pause the screen, whatever you want to do, knock yourself out. So that's what I got paid. So, you know, I did what, 323. Then I went, well, I did 257, then 381 and 323. Now, it was taking off 85 cents each time. That's what I got that express pay on there. But that's what I was kind of logging as far as how much I was making each day. And now let's go. Let me show you how many hours I worked each day. Let's kind of back up some total activity. Let's go previous week. Like I said, this is all Lux right now. So Saturday, I did five. I was online for five hours, made almost 200 bucks. But as you can see, I got one tip on Saturday. Out of 10 rides, I got one tip. I don't know. I think something is glitching with the Lyft app. But for me to get one tip on a Saturday, and I know people were tipping me, I don't know. Something better start rolling through on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. I better start seeing something roll through because that just don't seem right to me. But these were all my Lux rides. You know, I was up to, I drove to about 2.06 in the morning, and I started driving right around about, looks like 6.50 or so. Yeah, 6.30. So you see, I was 6.30, I did a ride, then I got canceled a couple of times, 6.51, 7, 7.45, then it looked like I took like a two-hour break, because after that passenger canceled, I took about a two-hour break, because I was like, okay, 7.45, somebody canceled, no problem, so I didn't get back online until 9.45, a couple hours later, and so that's kind of like how I wrapped my night out right there, but I mean, it was pretty easy rides, they were all really easy rides, nothing really complicated, I don't think I had any big rides, I had, you know, $26, $26 with the $550 bonus. It wasn't any like major $60, $70 rides, nothing like that. And on Friday, like I said, I 16 rides, nine tips, and I banged out $469 that day. But some of that rolled around into, like I said, $453 a.m. You see that? That kind of rolled around to the next day. And in 10 hours, I made almost, you know, 500 bucks. But I had some pretty solid rides in here. Like you can kind of go down and see like how my rides looked. Like I said, I can I'm gonna open one of them up in a second, just so you can see like how many miles it was or something like that. But that's basically, you know, my rides. It wasn't anything spectacular. It's just I just stayed on top of it. Here's my 22222. There you go. Now, yeah, and Thursday, there's my Thursday. So I started at 628. Uh, Lux, but like I said, I always take breaks in the middle and stuff like that. I don't know what time I took a break. It's up here somewhere where I took a break. Break. And what Thursday, I made that two ninety six. So like I said, I was I was just cruising. You know what I'm saying? Just going through, kind of you know doing basic rides, ten rides, six tips. Like I said, I don't know about that ten rides, one tip crap. Because people usually tip me, especially on a Saturday. But those were my rides there. I had a really good one. That thirty six dollar ride was pretty good. But for the most part. You know, this is kind of like what they were. <clears throat> it's pretty good. I started the night out with that $35 banger. That was pretty cool. <clears throat> so it came out to about $45, $50 bucks almost with that ride. That's what I started my night out. You know, $51, bucks, 33 minutes. I mean, I was almost averaging $100 an hour. So as soon as I turned the app on, bam, grabbed that ride real quick. So that was pretty cool right there. And like I said, that's kind of how I like to drive. 
And that was basically Lux. It's going to make me start all the way back over again. Are you serious? I'm not doing all of that. So that's why I said Saturday, 198 instead of that other big number because I was doing express pay. I was pulling my money out express pay wise. But these are the days. Let's go to weekly breakdown so I can show you exactly how, you know, the actual rides or whatever. Like the days, what I was making each day. Because I think I did my, my express pay instead of like what I was actually making each day. Come on, man. All right, let's go backwards. Uh, uh, uh. Those are just all the rides right there. That's not what I'm looking for. All right, let's go backwards again. <clears throat> let's go back to 2023. Why is it doing it? Let's go backwards again. Okay, let's go like this. All right, here we go. Now we can get down in here. So here's my, my week summary here. So I think I did payout history on the last one. This is the actual week summary. So this is what I was making each day. So that's my payout activity there. That's my actual ride history. So the 20th, I made 295. Then I made that 469 on Friday. Then 190 on Saturday. Now, Saturday, keep your eye on that Saturday because that's when I actually started driving UberX. So that 198 was on Saturday, and it was irritating me. I did a little UberX on Friday also. So these three numbers we're going to add up. It's my Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I know I did some UberX. So let's close out a lift and see what we did on UberX. Hold on for a second. Let's get completely out of that. Done with that. Done with that. Let's open up Uber. Because I know I had to drive Uber on Friday. I know I did. But let's see. All right, let's open up some today stuff. That's really one rock because I kind of went early into the morning. So it's saying 49 minutes, two trips. Really, it put one of my trips over here into it. See, I knew I did something on Friday. Friday, I made nine bucks. Told you I drove on Friday. No, I think that was the Uber Eats. I did two real quick Uber Eats trips because I was way out. Because I was too far out to really make money. I did a couple of Uber X's. I just called it a night. I said, you know, I'm done for the night. But that Saturday, like I said, I was hitting that Uber X on Saturday. And then I went over... And I started hitting, you know, uh, Lux. I was hitting Lux and UberX at the same time on Saturday. I was cleaning house. I was loving it. It was smooth. I was cruising, making good money and everything. Four hours. That was, I was online for four hours. So I was scouting, doing everything I could do. 11 quick trips. You know, tips was coming through pretty good. But then this day, bam, I hit that promotion. 50 rides for 145 bucks. I hit the promotion. I wasn't even trying to. But it says I was online for 13 hours because, like I said, remember that other morning? Because I was online so long Saturday, it wrapped into my Sunday. So it already had me online like two or three hours when I started my day. But I wasn't online for two or three hours. It was from the night before. So it says 13 hours when really I was probably online for about 11 hours. Yeah, about 10 or 11 hours because I had uh, 27 or 30 minutes left or something weird like that with the day. So... And I did 39 trips plus <clears throat> these other two trips all in one. So I did 41 trips, 41 trips on Sunday. I ain't never done 41 trips in my life ever, but it was so cool out there. I mean, I was cruising. Let me show you how some of my trips look so you can see exactly all of the, why I got 49. If you can look, you know, this was early morning. That was that 927 trip, 341 trip. These two don't really count. Because they were after, you know, I hit the bonus and I was done or whatever. But I hit that bonus like 327 But this is the kind of trips I was getting, like $12, $13. And there's no tips on none of these. No tips. So hopefully the tips come in tomorrow or the next day. It's just like on Lux. There's no tips. I don't know what the deal is. But look at all these short trips. Like I said, and that was a real quick trip. I know this guy's going to tip me, so I'll wait for that. And there, see, there's a tip came through at 202 you know, like I said, these were all really short trips, really short. I had to cancel somebody right there. But that's the only way I was going to make all of these bonuses. I said, I need to take any trip that's under 10 minutes automatically. If it's under 10 minutes, I'm taking it. And a lot of these trips were under 10 minutes. But they were like, like, let me open. Let me show you what it looks like when it comes through the screen. It'll say something like, I won't say it here. Let's see, fair. It's open. Uh, you can't open it up. But what it would say is it would say something like, you know, 
instead of seven minutes, 57 seconds, it'll say something like 13 minutes because I was so close to the person. So it was like 13 minutes. So I knew it was, the trip was under 10 minutes because it was 13 minutes to get to the people. That's why you see all of these trips under 10 minutes. Any trip that was under 10 minutes, I took it. Even these little $5 trips, anything under 10 minutes, give it to me. And normally I don't take these rides, but I would, I want to hit that bonus. I was pushing, pushing, pushing to hit that bonus. And that's somebody can, I, yeah, somebody canceled me there. But even like if it was close to 10 minutes, I would take it. Anything that was under 10 minutes, I took it. I was running with it, running with it. And that's how I hit that 105 by 1030. 1130, I had already hit it. And I still had four more hours to go to get that next level. So I was like, fuck it. Let's just go for the next level. Let's go. But as you can see, I mean, three minute trips. I was taking, oh, that was 11, 11. Hey, that's my lucky number. But I was taking like, you know, three minute trips. I was doing whatever I can do. 13 minutes, 15. I mean, it was, I was pushing hard, pushing real hard to keep everything as a short trip. I wasn't taking any long bangers. I think they were sneaking a banger in every once in a while. But as you can see, you don't see any bangers in here. Everything's five minutes, five dollars, five minutes, five dollars. All these were trips. As soon as I was dropping somebody off, it was like two miles down the road. Go pick that person up. So I was like, cool. So really, instead of it being one mile, that was like three miles for seven dollars and fifty two cents. Not really one mile for seven fifty two. But I was only like two, three miles away. So I would shoot down the street, get the person, drop them off at a bar. And that's basically all it was. Just like this one for five seventeen three point. That was probably I was like a mile and a half, two miles away. So it was like six miles, for five seventeen. Go do it. Hurry up. Rush down there. And that's what I just kept doing all night. That's the only way, like 1.7 miles for 1040. I had a surge on that. So it was like six miles with the 475 surge, six dollars with the 475 surge to bring me up there. And it was like, I was like three miles away for 1.7. So four miles total. Go do it. Go do it. And that's the only way I was going to really make this money. Look at all these small trips. This is 42 small trips. No bangers. They were sending me some good bangers, though. It'll be like a $26 trip, and I would note, like that one right there, $29. But that was because that was really like 19 of that, 18 of that is actual, you know, tip and surge. That trip is only a $9 or $10 trip is all it was. It was like $10. That was it. But I like the minutes. The minutes were under 20 minutes. So I know if it's under 20 minutes, I can do three trips that hour any because it's like 20 20 20 is going to give you that 60 minutes so anything under 20 minutes i'm taking if it's under 10 minutes that means i can do six trips an hour if it's under 10 minutes but i have to just bang them out bang 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 no sitting around talking chit chatting and all that i gotta bang them out i gotta do five or six trips an hour that's how i did that 42 trips in one day and it's crazy to do that many trips i think it was 41 trips it was crazy i mean like i said the tip and the surge made that trip really worth it. And that was an airport trip to see Terminal 4. But that's what I was doing. Anything short, take it. If it's short, seven minutes, eight minutes, take it. Seven minutes, take it. And that's the only way I was going to hit that bonus. And here's one, like 15 minutes, eight miles, because that was the tip and the surge. So really, that was a 950 plus that. So that was like an $8 trip probably for that much. Let's open it up and see. I just want to see. See how close I am to estimating. Because it was probably like about an $8 trip. See, fair. $7.89. That's what it was. It was a $7.89 trip. But I had a surge on there plus a tip on there. So it came out, you know, cool. So that's what it was. Like I said, the upfront fare was $14.39. They said $14.39 will give you this trip. And that was the surge and everything. And it was $14.39 for eight miles. And I was like, cool, take it. Well, really, it was probably like 14 miles. Because I had to drive to get to the person. So it was probably like four or five miles away. So I drove to get to him real quick. And then eight miles was the actual trip itself. But yeah, just like this one, you know, 2159, six miles. That, I remember that trip. I was like four miles away. So I was four miles away. So it was like 10 miles for like 15 or 16 bucks, something weird like that. Then a surge hit. So it was like upfront fare, 2120. I was like, perfect, perfect. I'll take it. So my upfront was 2159. And that was my minutes, miles. I was about, like I said, I was about probably, I would say 12 miles away. No, it was like 10 or 11. I remember it was about 10 or 11 miles away because I was like, okay, it's about half and half. So I took that trip. But like I said, I was just scouting my ass off. That's the only way I was going to make it. It's just scouting, scouting. Here's a good one here. You know, it was, you know, 1350 with the tip and the surge. 
But there you go again. And this was all Saturday stuff. Like that. Now I'm in the Saturday, but it was at 3.29 a.m. Here's another $10 tip right before that. I mean, I was just getting tips, surges, tips. It was crazy. Another $10 tip right there. They were just flowing through, flowing through. And Saturday, I was taking bangers on Saturday because it wasn't Sunday. Sunday is when I was really pushing because I didn't realize how close I was to get that bonus. So I was like, damn, I'm pretty close to that bonus. Ooh, I'm going to take all short trips all day Sunday. Because as you can see, I'm taking 20-minute trips here, 12-minute trips, 6-minute. I wasn't really worried. Here's a little short banger right there. But I wasn't really worried about, you know, oh, this was a trip. Check it out. $5 tip, $5 surge. It was basically a $3 trip. <laughs> and it came out to $13. But I was doing that all day. I was just finding them. Here's another one. $24, you know, for 33 minutes. So that was like, what, $48 an hour pretty much. But that's what I was doing on Saturday. I was just taking good amounts, real nice big amounts. And all of a sudden, you know, it's just, and that was my Thursday. Thursday was the same way. I was just taking big amounts, doing whatever I could do. $3 tip, $11 tip, whatever. That's my little delivery I did. I was like, you know what? Take whatever. Take whatever. But that's basically how I how I made it with, with UberX. I came through, did a ton of short rides, banged them all out, and basically that's what I ended up doing. Like I said, it was $63 in an hour 42 Thursday. Like I said, I was online that long, scouting and everything. Friday... All I could do was a couple of deliveries. I was scouting, found a couple of deliveries, took them, whatever. It was just garbage out there Friday, so I didn't really drive Friday. Then Saturday, bam, 225. Smacked them for the 225 in four hours. It was cool. Like I said, I was scouting a lot. Taking This is all UberX, 100% UberX and some delivery. But just like with this, 100% UberX. And I was like, let me stay focused on this. Stick with UberX. Do not turn on Lux because Lux pissed me off. Because the reason why I turned Lux off, because they sent me them two trips back to back. It was garbage. And I didn't take them, so you don't see them on my thing. But it was 18 miles to get to somebody for 18 miles back. So 36 miles total. It was about, you know, 45 minutes driving. And it was giving me $41. So I declined that one. And right behind it, they sent the same crap like that. It was like $35 for like 30 miles of driving. It took like 40-something minutes. I was like, so I just turned Lux off. And that's when I turned UberX on Saturday. And I started driving UberX Saturday. And that's what I did. So this Saturday, plus whatever I drove on Lux Saturday, is what I made on Saturday. And Sunday was just all UberX. No lift whatsoever. No Lux or nothing. But that's why I just wanted to go through this because it's too much to screenshot. And I just wanted to make sure that I'm showing people exactly how this money is made, what my strategies were, how I dedicated myself to short trips. And they were sending me long bangers on Sunday. They were sending me trips, you know, 30 like $36 trips, $25 trips, but they were too long. I needed anything under 10 minutes. I needed anything under 15 minutes. They were sending me rides that were 33 minutes, 42 minutes, and I was like, I can't, that's too long. It's too long. So I was canceling them cuz I wanted to get that 145 free dollars. I said, I want that free money. So in order for me to get the free money, I have to drive short trips. Drove the short trips, got the free money. Sunday came out cool. My total for the week for them was what? $840. Then on Lux, it was like 900 something. Like I said, I only did that in like 20 hours of being online. And you know that's not what I was really driving because most of my time online is scouting. Y'all seen me sit around for 20, 30 minutes scouting. That's what I do. I sit and I scout good rides. So online for 20 hours, don't know what I was driving because Uber won't tell me. Same with Lux. I was online for a lot of hours, didn't drive that much. I scout, but I made like 1800 bucks. That's what we do. You know, we work part time hours. You get full time money. That's how you do it. So if you want to see how I really scout short rides, I got a couple of videos on my playlist. Now, you can look at my money and marketing playlist because that's where I keep most of my really good videos that deal with ride share and how to make this money. So go take a look at a couple of the short videos. You can type it in the search box once you pull up that playlist or something and you can kind of get a gist on how I go about making as much money as I can in the shortest amount of time. Because I don't like being on the road a whole lot. I like to get out there, have a strategy, hit the ground running, and do what I can to keep the algorithm off its toes. Now the algorithm is always two steps ahead of us anyways, but if there's something you can do to keep it off its toes even a little bit, change up your game every once in a while, and I guarantee you'll get different results. A lot of people complain about they don't make enough money, 
they're having a hard time doing certain rides is because they never change up their strategy. You know me with Lux, I'm always driving, getting the best rides per mile, you know, dollars per mile, stuff like that, always on Lux, rarely driving UberX. I threw everybody off. I threw Lux off and I threw UberX off because Uber, they, they know that I don't drive them. And they like, this dude don't chase Quest. He don't go after that money like that. But I found a way how to get him. And I think I kind of got him. It ain't going to happen again, so I'm done chasing Quest for a while. I'll be back on Lux next weekend because Lux is probably like, this dude drives every weekend. Where did he go and why did he leave? I bet they're going to give me some good money next week. Watch what happens.